vlogging here. <laughs> what up, what up everybody? It's Sean and today is Saturday and we're gonna talk about how I'm gonna make this travel thing happen. Cause the more and more I think about it and plan, the more I realize it's gonna cost a lot of money. Right now I've identified three main things that I like to do that will generate a decent income to do this. First one's my main gig. My main gig is I do the nine to five guys. I'm kind of a, a corporate dude. I work for a software company and I do marketing. Simple as that. Support's pretty good. Uh, actually, it supports really good. Um, to be honest, I don't have to do these other things that I do for money, but because I'm fueling travel and my other fun projects, that's the reason I, ha I kind of am always on the grind. One thing you'll learn about me is that I am a person that is always moving, always looking for new ways to make money. And one of the things that I do right now that's a primary weekend gig, which is something you guys are gonna see today, are actually events. And what I do at these events is mainly tech services. I'm kind of like a head tech is what they label it as, head tech. Um, you go, you set up equipment, you make sure it all works. I like to do lighting, so I do lighting, sounds also sometimes. And then the third, and final thing that I'm doing to make money, and this is something I just, just started, is eBay selling. I don't know if you heard of this guy, his name's Gary Vaynerchuk, he's got the $20,000 challenge. And basically the challenge is, all of the junk that we have in our life, like all the junk in my spare bedroom right now, all this crap, all this crap, selling it all. Really, I don't use it, I need to take a minimalist approach to life a little bit, because I have a lot of excess. So the other approach is selling on eBay. When it comes to my job for the software company um, and marketing, this is basically what got me into social media. I realized with something like this, schools and courses really just suck. And it's changing so fast that you have to really do and practice on your own personal brand. And with social media specifically, there's so many new products coming out that I realize brands, companies, aren't willing to take the risk of like a Snapchat or an Instagram stories. But if I can practice this, practice this on my own, build that, develop a strategy, that's essentially how you learn and progress in social media. Media, You have to play in the game and be a practitioner yourself in order to succeed with everybody else. So the other thing I do to make money is I work for entertainment companies. Uh, this is something I've been doing for a really long time. Those of you that know me know that for a while I used to do this like full time and party for a living. Not anymore because I got kind of tired of it late nights, weekends and all that good stuff. But now I do it on the side. I do it with these guys. I do it on the side to make some extra dough and <laughs> works out pretty well. It fuels my fun money pretty good. And do this. What's up guys? Am I in frame? Yes you are. Yeah. Nice. nice. Uh, yeah. He's got the perfect. All right guys, from the last time you saw me, I was setting up or attempting to set up and then we got a huge downpour. I'm a Vizcaya and um, I think it's time to get this party going. As you can tell, I'm soaked, look at this. It's gonna be ugly out here. But good thing is tonight it's gonna be like 50 degrees. All right guys, so I look a little wet but we're set up. That's it right there. It really sucks because it's wet. Oh, that guy right there is Grant. And then this is this is the whole tent thing. But what I do is basically that stuff, that stuff, and all that stuff, and over there too. And that. The thing I got to show you guys is boat. Oh. The tent is in the water. And for those of you guys that have never been, it's the building. So the tent that they're doing the thing is right there. And then they're doing ceremony way over there. So that's where we started, over there. That's my cart. I walked up these stairs. And that's where they're doing the wedding.
They're ready for the wedding. Look, if you look down there, you can see the bride and groom and the wedding party. So, for those of you guys that have, for those of you guys, let's try to talk. Blah, blah, blah. For those of you guys that have wondered what I do on the weekends, it's a lot of this stuff. So, they're getting ready for the wedding now, and it's all outside, and this is what it looks like. That's kind of the final product, almost. I got couches. This is the dance floor right here. And that's the DJ man. Morning everyone, Sean here. It's now the next day, Sunday, and um, I'm exhausted. Didn't get home till like three o'clock last night doing the event. I didn't record the end of it because that's like the boring part where we just wrap everything up and get out of there. Um, but this morning, we're gonna talk about the number third way we're gonna make money to fuel my travels. Garage sales, flea markets, and posting things to eBay. And today we're gonna to hit up a flea market in South Florida called the Swap Shop. And it's actually a super beautiful day outside. Last night we got a little bit of a cold spell, a cold spell as much as you can in Florida. So I'm going to go really see what we could find. Damn yo, the Swap Shop is lit right now. Look at all those people. And there's a line back here too that you can't see. And the line that I'm in. There's like three lines to get into this place. So when you come to the swap shop, there's two areas. There's the covered area right here, and then there's the outside area. And the outside area is where you find the really good stuff. So records are something I'm looking for. How much for the records? Two dollars each. Two dollars each? Okay. I have three of them. Yeah, but he has three of the best ones. You gotta <laughs> Update. I got some cell phone cases. That's all I got right now. I got here kind of late. It's slim pickings. So we're gonna see how this goes, guys. This is my first attempt at making money off eBay, for real. Update. I am rested. And it is 10.02, Sunday night. I'm rested and there is a number four source of income that I didn't talk about because I don't advertise it too much, but it is a source of income and that's web design. Um, I do it. It's not traditional web design though because I use like a CMS or a web tool like Squarespace. So I'm not coding everything, but so I do do that, it does bring an income. Maybe I get like one or two a month. I don't really push it too much um, because it's a whole other bucket of worms. Like really. I did want to go over today's haul before I end the video. Okay, today's haul. <clears throat> so one of the things I have always wanted and I'm gonna try to sell it the first, this is one of the more expensive things I got today. I got it for 20 bucks. That is a misprint. They're kind of hard to find out of every, all the coins and stuff that I looked at today. This was the only one I could find. So I just grabbed it. I posted it on eBay. Um, I also tried my hand at records. I went for records that I think are interesting, so I went for the Commodores, Isley Brothers, Isley Brothers. Um, I'm gonna try these three. After I 
did bought these, I realized that the type of people buying records are really looking for rock and roll records because they were popular at the time also. So I'm looking more for rock and roll records. So like your Led Zeppelin, Motley Crue, and those are actually really hard to find at places like a flea market. So that's more like a garage sale kind of type of thing. Um, phone cases, this was a Gary V tip. I found these. Um, I got all four of them for 20 bucks. So hopefully I can make a couple bucks on these. Pez dispensers, dollar a piece in the package. Uh, what I, what got me into these were their C-3PO in the package, so hopefully these can go because Star Wars is really popular right now. And then because Fort Lauderdale is a little in the news right now, I did something a little weird. I bought Fort Lauderdale t-shirts, stack of t-shirts that say Fort Lauderdale. I don't know how I feel about these. I kind of did it as an impulse thing because I thought it would be interesting and I kind of wanted a Fort Lauderdale t-shirt too, like this one. Like this one, kind of cool. Um, so I'm gonna try my hand at these. I'm not super excited for these, but this one, the Pez dispensers and the iPhone cases for sure I think are gonna be good sells. The things I'm on the fence on are the shirts and the records. Um, but now that I'm rested, I actually have to do some web design work, so I'm going to say goodbye and sign off for today. Thanks for watching, and um, don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate it if you could subscribe, maybe like, throw a comment. Thanks, and enjoy your day.